Hello you beautiful people. We have finally hit 3000 subscribers and I have a surprise for you. $10 gift card on Steam giveaway. I know, very generous. All you have to do is join the Discord in the description and comment your Discord ID in the comments plus something nice. Today's topic is making sheets for RPCS free games. RPCS3 is a powerful PlayStation 3 emulator, which can be found in the description. So what do we need for this tutorial? Well, only RPCS3, Sheet Daniel, and your PS3 game. The rest will be shown in this video. The goal is to change our goal value, or anything similar. To start, we open our game and Sheet Daniel. Okay, so here I have my emulator. I have my game that I want to use. Let me just boot it real quick. Okay, so we have this gold value, which is 23 right now. We can either slash bushes and so on to get more. So what we will try to do is change this 24 to something else. Now to do that we will first need to open Sheet Engine. Now that we have Sheet Engine open we attach it to our emulator. Now go to settings. No, not that. Settings and go to scan settings and enable scan the following memory region types memory mapped memory and so on this will allow us to search through the emulator's memory so when you have selected that we also want to right click on the value type define new custom aa type or define new custom type auto server and it will get us to this page so now we have a really amazing tutorial so all credit goes to uh, this person let me find him. goes to Dennis Stanistan this is his tutorial on how to use sheet engine I'm just showing you guys so all credit goes to him and to use this we have the value type big endian I hope I pronounced that right but to use that we copy this auto symbol code and control A and paste it so I have I already have this four byte big endian but you will get this four byte big endian select that and now we can search for our value so you, if you have a float value there is also um, further down on the page auto sample code for that data type use that if you want so let's search 24 since I have 24 this will take up a, a bit since it's searching more stuff There you go. Now we go into the game, like you usually do with Sheet Engine. You change the value and search again. So, let me find... That's not it, that's not gold. There we go. So now I have 25 gold. We search for 25. And we have some other values can search again next scan on the same value since it hasn't changed now we don't really need to get more gold in the game we can just check all of these values which one works so let's change the first one 28 and if you look in game it changed so this is probably the correct one let's change it to 300 and we have 300 gold let's go to a shop in the game. 
No, that's not the correct way. Can you buy stuff here? I don't think so. I think you need another... currency for that. Yeah, no, you, you need uh, ingredients. So, let's go to a different shop. If I remember where it is. That might be a problem. But, you get the idea. We search for big en endians. <laughs> and we can change them from there. If you want to make a trainer for uh, C-Shop, for example, you can use these addresses. You can use if they're static, of course. Or maybe not. But you can use AOB scans to find instructions for uh, changing gold and so on. Uh, did I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the right way. But you can use all this stuff to make your own quality trainers for your favorite PS3 games. So... No, not here. My... All right. You need handy container. Thank you so, for we bought a bag and it works. So, for example, we can also find out what writes to this address by this banana, it seems. And we see an instruction. So, now, if you wanted to find this address, you can just uh, AOB scan through the main module and search for these bytes. So, just copy to clipboard and bytes, or bytes only, no address. Then you can find this um, instruction and change it, or you can find the address for instruction and change it to whatever you like. So now you could replace with code that does nothing, but I don't know what will happen. It's a bump shop. That's That's right. So it stayed, I believe, or maybe not. But you get the gist of it. You can do all uh, all sort of stuff here. I hope this tutorial was uh, good. And I will see you in the next one.